Hello friends. Welcome to the short video understanding character string versus byte string using a practical approach. As all of you know that there are several differences between character string and the byte strings. So first of all, the character string this handle data in 16 bit unicode whereas byte string handle data in bytes that is in 8 bits. Then second difference is the common classes of character strings are file reader and file writer there are for the byte strings the common classes are file input stream and file output stream and the last and most important difference that character stream works with the character data while byte string works with the non character data and at this point the maximum students face the difficulty in understanding what is working with character data and what is working with non character data so let's illustrate this with an example so here we will write one program which is also given to you as an assignment to file using a file copy one program into or using a file programming copy one file into the another file so we are importing the first package that is import java.io from where all the classes of character stream byte strings are available then class is copy file then here we go with the public static void main string args and as all of you know that the maximum methods are throwing the exception that's why we will use the try and catch block so in try block i am first going with the character string so i am using file reader class and uh, here we will pass argument as a data file which is having the name data.txt in our same folder where the program is situated then i want to copy this file into the another so i am using file writer class and here the name i am specifying of the file which is not presently available as we know that file writer can create the file if it is not there so i am writing copy.txt you can see that uh, at location at the documents there is only one data file we will go back to our program and we will perform first of all reading operation so for this purpose i am taking integer i equals to 0 and here using the while loop first of all i equals to fr dot read then i will check that until there is end of file by using not equals to minus 1 and here go on writing inside the another file so fw dot write and pass i as a parameter and after completion of all this we have to use the flush method which will forcefully write our data and uh, then we will close both our file reader and the file writer and then as we know that for try catch block there will come one catch block here i am directly writing the root class of exception hierarchy that is exception e so that whatever file not found i have exception all will be get caught here and then i am putting here system dot out dot print ln and directly display the exception and here after the completion of program we will not get any output on the screen so for that purpose i am putting one message system dot out dot print ln that file copied successfully file copied successfully so catch block is complete now close the main method and close the class save this program and let's compile it so here java c copy file java 
program compile successfully then run it java copy file and here i get file copied successfully so let's go back to our folder there was previously this data file available and now i am having one copy file also so let's see what was in the data file so data file is saying this is an example of character string programming and what should be the data inside the copy file so it is having the same data this is an example of character string programming now as we know that file can be anything it is not necessarily only the text file is a file so what we will do that uh, now we will change this content and instead of data.txt file there we are also having one image file that is photo.jpg so now i will try to copy this photo.jpg file into the another file that is i will say here pic.jpg okay rest program will remain as it is just save this program go back command prompt compile it and then run it okay so it says file copied successfully now we will go and check at our destination so you can see this is our original data file that is a photo.jpg and the file which is copied it is visible here that is pic.jpg so from the thumbnail we can guess that the file is not copied correctly and then we will open it find that something there everything is blurred or we will say the improper or inconsistent data is there okay so now what what is the solution for this problem that we will go in our program and in our program we have used the classes for the character string with rather photo.jpg is not a character file it is a image file so we will just change the classes that uh, here instead of using file data i will use file input stream so here file input stream and same here i will give the constructor name and here is in place of file writer which one file output stream output stream and here i will copy same for the constructor file output stream okay and rest you know that read method is also available in the file input stream write method is also available in the file output stream the methods are almost same in the file in the reader and file input stream and similarly in file writer and file output stream now just save this, the, these changes once again compile our program compile and here i will go at the location first and i will delete this previous pic which is our output of the previous program so delete this now come back to our program and run it okay and we get file copied successfully message let's see whether the file copied successfully or not so here you can find that this is the original file and now we have get this is the output file so from this we come to know that the difference which we which about which we were talking that the character stream works with the character data whereas byte stream work with only with non character data describe it more clearly we will write that work with character data means the character stream classes they will be used only for the reading and writing the text data whereas byte stream classes they are used to store character as well as video audio images all binary type of data okay thanks for the watching